expanded polystyrene panels reinforced with special wire mesh are assembled in a 1 billion Mavoko EPS factory that was unveiled in April this year. The raw materials used in making the panels, including petroleum byproduct, are however imported. Uh, we import the steel wire and the beads that make the foam, and then we assemble them at our plant at Mavoko. The petroleum byproducts are the basic raw materials for the EPS technology. It is, uh, they come in small granules and uh, expanded to form big blocks of the material you're seeing used here. The panels once on site are cut to their required sizes according to architectural requirements and once fixed in position are coated with concrete and then a second and final coat is applied and the wall is now in place. Once concrete coated, the EPS panel gains extraordinary strength compared to jointed stone houses and its monorific form makes it impossible for any external forces including earthquakes to penetrate or collapse. EPS technology is actually stronger than uh, even the normal uh, uh, standard uh, building materials that we use in Kenya. It is bomb proof, it is bullet proof and uh, it is also earthquake proof. The wire mesh is a whole ring in the whole structure. That structure is one monolithic structure. It is not uh, a brick joined to another brick. Once you have put all the wire meshes together, one part is connected to the entire building, which means if you knock on one side, the load is transmitted through the entire structure. Now, since it's made of, of uh, reinforced concrete with the steel in it, it gives it that flexibility to be able to withstand earthquakes mud slides, or whatever you think about. This is a technology that has been applied in developed countries like Turkey and South Africa, among others. Interestingly, these raw materials are capable of putting up a building of up to 22 floors, but for a house exceeding four floors, a hundred special panel used for slabs is used. These are single wall panels just for up to three, four story building. But if you're going higher, then you use what is called the double panel. Now the double panel has a totally different uh, structural sort of um, design and it can take you up to 21 story. With 1.5 by 3 meters single panel going for 5,000 shillings at the factory and less sand and cement used, the building is not only cost effective but also time saving with only one month to complete one unit subject to availability of materials. Can you, can you imagine building a house for only about half a million shillings, uh, between half a million and 700,000 depending on the, on the size of the house. And, uh, you can acquire something like 3,000 houses in about three months. National Housing Finance Corporation that is spearheading housing policy in the country says it's rolling out a sensitization and training program to contractors across the country on the new technology with real estate investors already having expressed interests. We want to, to train uh, Kenyans within, very quickly within these first six months to learn about the technology across all the regional centers in the country. Two estates in Nairobi, namely New Muthaiga Estate and Balozi Estate in South B, were put up using this technology. Experts say no serious investor would overlook this technology, ideal for both commercial and residential properties. We want to bring down the cost of housing to at least a maximum of a million for a small, decent and affordable house that has a, a toilet, a shower, a kitchen, a sitting room, and a, and, a, and, a, and a bedroom. This is something that could revolutionize the, uh, the uh, bringing up of new stock of buildings and we are believing that developers will see an opportunity in this. They will see a chance for them to put up houses quickly, go into the market, be able to sell them off and continue making other projects. We see a very good opportunity for them. Police service is the first government agency to benefit from this construction technology where the government has set aside resources for the construction of 50,000 units of between one and three bedrooms for both constables and senior police officers. It is a technology that has been termed as historic by experts from construction industry coming at a time when the country is celebrating 50 years of independence. It is a technology that will definitely go a long way in addressing housing problems in the country. Tochkidoka reporting for Channel 1, Rui Police Station, Nairobi.